Hey, North Place Church, Pastor Adam here coming to you today with another Daily 20 video prompt. We're looking at 1 Peter chapter 4 today, and um, it's an interesting chapter. It's talking about suffering and doing what's right and suffering for doing what's right and how that can be God's will. And, and as I was reading it, for me, um, there's some stuff that really jumped out to me, and I want to share that with you today. But I also want you to comment in the comments below as you've worshiped God, as you've read your Bible, your passage today, as you journal and take time to listen. So let's comment together and, and, and discuss this chapter. And maybe what, what don't you understand? What do you have a question about? Let's comment and talk about it um, today. But as I'm reading it, I, I see verses 1 and 2, and there's some stuff in there that could really confuse us because he says, look, as you're suffering for Christ, you won't have any more sin. And the truth is, he's not saying that because you're suffering, your sin is abolished because, and you can do whatever you want. That's, that's not what he's saying. In fact, later on in chapter 4, he actually says, hey, quit doing these things, and he lists all these sin, sins. But it goes back to verses 17 and 18 of chapter 3, where he, where he says, look, as you suffer, it's better to suffer for following Christ than to suffer by doing evil. And the truth is there's consequences to our sin, as we ha are, are, are doing bad things, bad consequences happen to us. Um, so it's better for us to be persecuted maybe for our faith and for the things that, that we are doing that are right, you know, because as Christians, we should be the hardest workers. We should be the, the, the most dedicated to our jobs that God has blessed us with and shouldn't be the ones sleeping on our jobs and those type of things. We should be the ones that are working the hardest and doing our best because we're doing it to the glory of God. And sometimes that brings suffering in our life. People persecute us because they, you know, hey, are you a goody two-shoe? Why are you doing this? Why are you working so hard? You're making me look bad, those type of things. I don't know if that's ever happened to you. Uh, maybe it should have. Hopefully it should have. Hopefully it, it has happened to you. I know that sounds weird, but I'd rather that happen to you than, than people to look, well, that's just a lazy Christian. Um, so today as you journal, as you read, what's God saying to you? And I could keep going in this chapter. It's a, it's a great chapter. But I want to hear what God's saying to you. So make a comment. We'll, we'll discuss it back and forth. All right. We love you guys, and we'll see you next week.